Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day. Look at this. We can achieve almost 50 mega hash on an RTX A2000. We're getting 49.6 mega hash. And a lot of you guys are probably asking, how? Red Panda, how did you do this? And I will tell you guys very shortly, and I'll, I'll just say it right now, that it's basically a solder job, custom solder job that needs to be done on these A2000s in order to achieve these numbers, okay? You can see here, it shows over the 75 watt power specification. It's at 83 watts according to the software. And then at the PMDs here, it shows 84 to 86 watts, right? And then we got a stock A2000 that does about 40.52 mega hash. Uh, I, I can't seem to get any higher than that for some reason. I know I can get 41 on my other A2000s, but that, you know, natively, you guys know, can do about 70 to 73 watts, which is under the 75 watt PCIe power specification on the riser. And these A2000s don't have external six pin for power. It's all being drawn off the six pin power. All right, so I got two PMD meters here, power measuring devices from Elmore Labs. You can see the power difference here from stock to the modded A2000. All right, that's getting 49.6 mega hash at this moment, stable. It's been running for about 12 hours, almost 13 hours now, as of recording this video. And I will show you guys in a second that I can achieve 50 mega hash on this card, but it does draw some invalid shares because the memory temperatures, or I guess the GPU itself, is getting quite hot. You can see the temperature difference here, all right? So stock modded A2000 here. I don't have anything special done to this one except for the solar job. But the gentleman, now I'll explain the gentleman who did this for me, modded all 10 of my A2000s. Okay, I will explain that in another video. We'll do some builds with that. I'll show you guys a whole rig build of 12 modded A2000s. And we'll do that in another video. But in this video as well, I will show you guys a modded one right here that has had thermal pad and also thermal paste change on this that can achieve 50 mega hash or more on this A2000. So we'll try this later on in the video. I just wanted to showcase that just a modded a2000 stock pads versus a stock A2000. You guys can see the difference here. But I wanted to go into the computer now. You guys probably have a lot of questions and I want to explain some things uh, with you all and uh, a lot of disclaimers, okay? A lot of disclaimers, so let's go. All right, so before everyone tries to go out and buy the A2000 six gigabyte cards just for achieving this, I have a lot of disclaimers that I want to talk about first before we talk about, you know, who did this and how it's been done, because uh, it's from a gentleman named JKGVentures.tech. So I'll talk about him in a second. But first things first, the disclaimers, you guys should understand first before you do something like this. This is a custom PCB level mod, which unleashes the card's power more than the 75 watt stock specification for PCIe. So this voids warranty, probably voids your warranty with NVIDIA and it has potential for it to break. Number two, due to the design of the A2000 hardware, mining ETH shouldn't need a power limit, but having one in place is good insurance, although drawing an unsafe amount of power is unlikely. And so what we mean by that is in HiveOS, for example, where you can have a power limit here just as a fail safe. But for me, I don't have one right here right now, as you guys saw in terms of the uh, the power consumption that it is mining right now at the top right, as you guys can see, it's drawing about 86 watts versus the stock one that says 73 watts at this moment. But going along with the disclaimers, number three, really good risers are very important. 150 inductor choke and up is preferred. So for example, and this is not sponsored by the way, this is from gprisers.com. They have a picture here of the, I guess the choke or inductor it shows 150 there. So I've seen older, you know, six capacitor risers, like older generation risers that have like a 50 or maybe a 75 or a hundred choke. Apparently, according to jkgventures.tech, a 150 inductor choke is preferred if you're going to be doing this on a riser that's going to utilize six pin, right? Because it's going to utilize more than the 75 watt PCIe specification. All right. 
So going down, the last disclaimer here is do not power the riser with Molex or SATA. And uh, I know you guys know this already, but most risers come with the SATA power cable in the bag. So people think that works. It does on normal lower range GPUs mostly, but absolutely will not work for the modded A2000. Because as we all know, the A2000 does not have a external six, six pin PCIe for power, right? It draws the power from the PCIe slot. Anyways, guys, that's the disclaimers. Now let's go ahead and talk about jkgventures.tech. Now let's go to their website. If you want this done, okay, now that you know the disclaimers, if you want this done, I did this myself. I sent all 10 of my A2000s to JKG Ventures, and he modded them. I believe he's in, like, Washington in the U.S., and so I shipped all 10 of mine to him. He then took about a day or two to mod the cards and was able to ship them back to me after about two days or so. And so he's got a little service here. All right, A2000, 6 gigabyte, 49 mega hash performance mod. That's what he calls it here. Looks like he's got risers and he's got a 12 GPU motherboard, which he also sent me recently. And I will be doing a review on that. So stay tuned for that. But I do have a total of 12 of these now. Okay, uh, A2000s that are modded. And stay tuned. I will do a video on 12 of them in like a server case. All right, guys. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. But it costs $85 to do this mod. And if you guys are wanting to, there's a coupon code, Red Panda Mining, for 20% off. I don't get any commission off of this or anything, just to let you guys know. But it'll only work until May 1st, so another month or so until the coupon code doesn't work. If you guys decide to do something like this, there's something that I, I just want to quickly note that, you know, we are gaining an extra, what, some people can get 42 mega hash. So, you know, you can gain an extra 6 to 8 mega hash. On these cards and actually if we're looking at the efficiency right some people may wonder about that you can see in t-rex miner right now it's relatively the same okay 598 kilohash per watt 587 kilohash per watt on going from like 40 to 42 mega hash to 49 to 50 and i did talk about that i did want to try getting 50 mega hash here so i think i can achieve that by going 5800 memory so we're just gonna we're just going to see if it goes up here. I'm going to leave it on the screen now. So you guys know where this is from. Link down below if if you guys are interested to do this. Okay. But you, you know all the disclaimers that I just mentioned uh, about doing this. And he has a little example here of like 12 of them. I will personally be doing this in my own video. All right, guys. So stay tuned for that. I have already received all 10 of mine back. Uh, plus another two, which is uh, sponsored content from JKG Ventures. Thanks to JKG Ventures for sending me these two, as uh, I'm showing you guys the demo right now. And I do want to show you guys the demo of a padded one, which I talked about earlier. So I just want to show you guys that on this modded A2000, that it can get 50 mega hash. But it, I was getting invalid shares, and uh, obviously this one, it, it started getting hotter, much hotter. So you can see here the mega ash is going up now 49.85 we're at 66 degrees 94 c it's getting hot it's it's definitely getting hot and i think if you were to try to achieve 50 mega hash on these uh you would probably need to repad them uh thermal paste all that stuff oh man we're getting 49.9 you know what let's let's go up a little bit more let's go to 58.25 the biggest thing here I forgot to talk about is the share rate. Okay, so the stock A2000 was able to get 450 shares in the past 13 hours. And then the A2000 modded one is able to get 525 shares. So you, can, you guys can see the share difference there. That is pretty much equals to the difference in hash rate and what we can achieve in terms of the shares to Ethermine. So that's pretty good. That's that's all well and good. But I just wanted to show you guys, man, we're we're eking close to 50 mega hash. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna boost it to 40. Let's let's I think this is the max. Okay, 49.97. We are extremely ex extremely clo close. And you guys can are probably freaking out like Red Panda. 5840 on the memory in Hive OS. And yes, that that is a lot. I know it's very daunting, guys. But the temperatures are still generally okay, 94 degrees Celsius. 
isn't too bad as these are Samsung ECC memory, uh, GDDR6 memory, A2000s, right? Because these are Quadro cards uh, natively. So look at that. 49. Oh, man. The next thing here is going to be 50 mega hash. I swear. Here we go. You guys are going to see this whole thing. I, I hope you guys enjoy this content. This is something that this gentleman, JKG Ventures, reached out to me and was like, Red Panda, I figured out something revolutionary. And I was like, what? Let's see. And then, you know, he showed me this. Uh, we zoomed and all that stuff and uh, talked about it. And there we go. 50 mega hash, guys. We can achieve it. Now, it'll probably do some invalid and rejected shares in a bit here. But now I want to shut this down. And I want to put in the modded A2000, sorry, the padded uh, A2000 that can apparently do pretty well in terms of better temperatures with better thermal pads and such. And you guys are probably wondering, like, Red Panda, are you going to open this up? And yes, I'll open it up in another video and I will show you guys a comparison between this one and the uh, stock A2000. You guys are probably wanting to see that, so I will do that in another video later on. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the modded and repadded A2000 in the GPU Zero. And then the GP1 is just a regular modded with stock thermal pads, A2000. And yeah, you guys can see a pretty big difference in the memory temperatures on the repadded one, A2000. And I was told they used GPRisers.com thermal pads, 2 mil. And yeah, that's, wow, that's a big difference from 94C stock pads to 80C using the GP Risers. 2 mil thermal pads on the A2000, which is awesome. So that's all well and good. But guys, you can see here, I'm able to get 50.49 mega hash on this padded A2000. Now, one funny thing is, is that the power consumption in the software says 82 watts for both. And looks like the hash per watt, it shows a little bit more, obviously, because we're getting a little bit higher mega hash. But at the wall, you guys can see at the wall, uh, let's see here, on the left, padded modded A2000 is getting 89, 87 watts at the PMD. And then the other PMD has the modded with stock pads, and that's at 84, 86 watts. So it looks like the padded one, since I have the memory clock at like 6,000, which is quite high, and for those that are maybe going to be trying this, that are going to get their cards modded is that I would try to start off at like 5400 memory and then I jumped up to 5700 while it was mining after a couple minutes and then I was told to in order to get higher mega hash as we go along is to go up in increments of 50. So I was at you know 5750 and then a couple minutes later 5800 a couple minutes later 5850 and so on and so forth. I got to 6000 I did try 6,050, but then it didn't go up any further than 50.5 mega hash. That's the highest I could go. And yeah, you can see, yeah, it's finding shares, no problem to Ethermine. And yeah, the memory temp is just perfect with the uh, GP Riser's 2 mil thermal pad. So awesome stuff. All right, guys. Now, I just want to end off with, with this video is, will it be worth to do something like this, right? With the disclaimers I already talked about regarding this is a power mod, you know, a custom solder job that's it's basically being done on this on these GPUs is that you're going to you're going to avoid the warranty. You're going to have to be mindful of the risers that you're using. There's potential for the GPU and also based on silicon lottery, you know, some of them might not be able to do 49 mega hash. I mean, generally, they, they should be doing 49 mega hash, but if you want to try to achieve 50, you'll you'll have to change the thermal pads, most likely, and uh, play around with the overclocks that I have here, you guys can see. And then the next point I want to touch on is the cost of doing this, right? It's, it's $85, and then if you use my 20% off code, then that's going to be like, what, 70-something? And then if you were to factor in, you know, the existing A2000s you have now, how much would it cost to attain another, you know, eight to six mega hash on your current A2000s? So if that $70 is worth it to you, right? If it's worth it to you, for example, let's just do some math here, 
right? Let's say you had, for, for me, for example, I had 10 of them times, let's say I would able to get another eight to, let's just say another eight mega hash. That's, so that's going to give me another extra 80 mega hash. What GPU could I purchase, right? So 10 times 70 bucks, that would be about $700 to do something like this for 10 A2000s. 700 bucks right now at the current market, what could I buy at $700 to achieve 80 mega hash? I don't think you can buy anything right now for that much. I, I'm not trying to persuade anyone to do this, right? I already talked about the risks and the disclaimers of doing some, such a thing. I'm just... I'm just talking about the other side of it. If you were to buy a similar hash rate, attaining a little bit more hash rate here for 700 bucks for 80 mega hash, just, just put in some perspective there, right? Another thing I wanted to touch on is now, okay, so the efficiency of this GPU, all right? So for example, we're not gonna go with the software watts in the uh, software because it's looks like it's a little bit off. So for example, if I did my 50 mega hash, so 50.50 divided by let's just say 87 watts. All right, that's gonna be a hash per watt of 0 0.58, which is, yeah, you know what? It's gonna be pretty similar to a stock A2000. So the modded one I have here, 49.01, which we could probably go up a little bit more, divided by 85, 85 watts, 57. So pretty much the same efficiency here. Now, an HX, 170 HX, I believe that does 170 mega hash uh, divided by 225 watts, I believe. So that's going to be an efficiency of 0.75 uh, hash per watt, which is definitely, a, definitely better in terms of hash rate efficiency against the A2000. But mind you, the, the 170 HX costs like what, $3,000, $4,000? And it's a mining specific card. So, and I'm not saying with these A2000s, once you get the mod done to them, I guess essentially the resale value is, is going to be out the window potentially. You know what? I just thought of, I should really test this to see if it displays out after the mod or play games on it. Man, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'll, I'll do that in another video. I'll, I'll, I'll test that out. But yeah, wow, that's a, that's a good one for sure. If it's, if it displays out after the mod. Anyways, guys, yeah, I just wanted to do something like that, but maybe, you know, let's compare like what, uh, a 6600 XT does like 32 mega hash divided by, you know, 60, 65 watts. So yeah, I mean, the A2000 is still, I would say king in terms of Ethereum efficiency, which of course Ethereum is going to be moving away to proof of work to proof of stake. So be mindful of that. But again, I will test this GPU or all of my GPUs on uh, Ravencoin and Flux, and I'll have a dedicated video showing you guys the hash rates of that. There is an increase in hash rate, yes, after this mod for other algorithms as well. All right, guys. So anyways, okay, I think that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you to JKNG Ventures for like literally, you know, letting me play around with these GPUs and also modded my 10 A2000s and uh, he sent me another two to basically play around with with these and yeah, anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. I appreciate you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Many, many more videos to come testing these out, all right? Uh, just let me know down below what you guys want me to test, and uh, I, can, I can do whatever. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Have a good one, and peace out.